why looking poor is important. It's because of the different ways that the rich, the middle class, and the poor think about money. Their mindset and approach to money is just completely different. So the reasons why looking poor is important is because for one, the money mindset and the approach to money should be to grow more money and not to actually spend it. Number two, wealth is hidden. Number three, cars keep many poor. Number four, no one actually cares about us. And number five, looking rich makes us a target. I added timestamps on each of the reasons down below so that it'll be much more easier to navigate through this video. So first, let's go over the main reason why looking poor is important. The rich go broke by spending all their money buying assets. The poor go broke by spending all their money buying liabilities. And the middle class go broke because they spend all their money just on bills and nothing more and nothing less. The rich will have $1,000 in their checking account, $5,000 in their savings account, and $250,000 in their brokerage account and say the words, I'm broke. Because theoretically, the rich really doesn't have any cash left over to spend on goods and services. That's why they look so poor. All their money is tied up in assets that make them even more money. They don't have any money left over to spend on fancy clothes, cars, or a big house. The real rich people don't want to spend money to show off their wealth and status. They just don't care. They don't have any emotions when it comes to money. When they see a Lambo on the street, they don't think, I need to have that for myself too. They just think well good for them and they go about their day because at the end of the day material goods really don't matter to them many of the expensive things we buy break down and so we have to replace it very often anyway so then we move on to the second reason of why looking poor is important and that is that wealth is hidden. No one ever actually sees wealth. Wealth is defined as money and assets that make even more money, which by definition means that wealth is in stocks, bonds, real estate, and in brokerage accounts that make even more money, which means it isn't really visible to the public. When you see a fancy house on the street or on your neighborhood, you don't really know who owns it until you actually meet the owner. And when you see shiny and expensive toys outside, that's not really wealth. So what we see on the surface is that the person has a Lambo, but what we don't see is what debt that they took on to finance to buy that Lambo. That expensive Gucci bag or designer clothes, they probably bought them using loans and on a credit card. And no one really ever has $100,000 in cash laying around to buy a Lambo with, which means if someone does have a Lambo, they probably most likely took out car loans to buy that Lambo. And speaking of Lambos and buying a fancy car, that brings me to the third reason of why looking poor is important. And that is that cars keep many poor. It is literally the number one wealth killer in America today. It's mostly guys that have this problem because watches and a car are a guy's biggest weakness. They're a guy's dream purchases. And I know how great it feels to have a really expensive car I own on the driveway and think, wow, I earned that for myself. And maybe you did or you didn't, but that's not really the point. The point of the game is to grow your wealth, not to grow a car collection. I rejected the idea of buying an expensive car very early on in my life. My very first car when I I graduated college was a 2016 Nissan Versa Note hatchback that I bought for $10,000 all cash. And when that car got into a car crash, I bought another Nissan Versa sedan with, that had 90,000 miles on it that I bought for $14,000 all cash. Nissan Versas get really great mileage and it's a great safe and reliable car that gets me from point A to point B. And it really comes with minimal maintenance problems. So I'm really happy with the car so far. There's really no point in paying a lot of money for a car because a car is not for showing off. A car is for transporting you and your family safely from point A to point B. That's it. Nothing more and nothing less. It's heartbreaking when you hear statistics like the average car payment in America is $725 a month. Like somewhere along the way, dining out became a car payment and a car payment became a mortgage payment. $725 a month is just way too much to spend on transportation alone. Not to mention the insurance and the maintenance costs and the gas that you have to keep putting on into the car every single month. There are mortgages today that are less than $725 a month. I mean, what would you rather have, a car or a house for $725 a month? I would much rather have the house. There's much better ways to spend our money than on a depreciating asset like a car. I mean, cars lose us money every single year. All right, let's move on to reason number three why looking poor is important. And that is that no one actually cares about us. The middle class lives on this volcanic wasteland of excessive consumerism because for one, buying things makes us feel good because 
because it feels like we have power. But for two, we secretly have a desire to signal to the outside world that we're actually doing well in our lives, even though we may not be. And it's really made worse with social media like Instagram and Facebook. But the real rich people couldn't care less what they think of them. Real wealth doesn't care if others think that we are poor and not really doing well in life. They don't care if others look down on them because all they care about is how they feel about themselves. Let's say in the best case scenario, we actually do own that fancy car and a really big house. But the truth of the matter is, others don't really care about that. Why would they care about that anyway? We're just not really all that interesting enough to have others actually think or care about what we own. I mean, they have their own lives to take care of too. So here's what I do to look poor. I go to the grocery store in my pajamas. I never own a pair of Jordan sneakers. I only buy one pair of shoes every five years because that's when the shoe usually falls apart. I own three quality suit pieces and never more. Any of my clothes have holes in them. All of my furnitures are hand-me-downs. I only pay $800 a month for my apartment. I buy a new computer every like eight years. And lastly, I haven't bought new clothes in like six years. I just don't see the point in looking rich and keeping up an image because keeping up an image is super expensive and I don't want to spend money when it's not going to get me a return. Spending money and keeping up an image doesn't really bring me any additional joy nor does it give me a return on that money that I spend. And actually I have to keep on pouring more money into it just to keep up that expensive lifestyle of an image and that doesn't really make me happy or excites me so I'd rather not do it. I like financial security more than I like keeping up an image to make others think that I'm actually doing well in life. I like pouring all my excess money money into the stock market like the S&P 500 that's gonna make me even more money later down the road. That's my favorite pastime. Because here's the actual irony of looking rich. The irony of looking rich is that the ones who actually look rich are actually poor and the ones who actually look poor are actually rich. I except for the 1% who are actually rich and look poor as well. But remember less than 10% of Americans today are millionaires and out of those millionaires only 2.5% of those under 35 are millionaires. Meaning even if someone does look rich, mathematically and statistically speaking, there's a very good chance that they're not actually rich, let alone be a millionaire. There's a janitor named Ronald Reed who left behind an $8 million fortune when he passed away. And many thought he was poor because he used coupons everywhere, used the library to check out books, and used a safety pin to put his jacket together when they were falling apart. And actually he was a frequent customer at a diner called Friendly's, and one customer actually paid for his meal because the customer thought that Ronald Reed was struggling to pay for his bills. When in reality, Ronald Reed probably had a higher net worth than that customer. Wealth and money is not exciting and it's not supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to be built over decades and decades of hard work. And actually, that brings me to the final reason of why looking poor is so important. And that is that looking rich makes us a target. When others see us as a rich person, it makes them want to hang out with us more. Not because they like us for who we are, are, but because we have money and are seen as an important person. Even when we are not important to the world in any capacity at all whatsoever, people want to hang out with us for all the wrong reasons, and that's not the kind of attention and friends that we want in our lives. It feels awful to always question whether that friend that we have in our lives are just with us because we have money, not because they want to be genuinely friends. What happens if we no longer have any money? Because that can happen. Do they stop being friends with us all of a sudden? You just don't know. You don't want to attention from all the wrong people because we don't know what their true intentions are. Maybe they just want to use us for their own benefit, we just don't know. Because one thing is for sure, no one actually has our best interest at heart except for family and really close friends. So if we look rich, there's a good chance that the friends we have are only with us because they think we can do something for them, which isn't the kind of attention we want in our life. So now we move on to the conclusion and the moral of the story. In summary, looking poor and practicing frugality and mindful spending is what gets us true happiness in our life. There's much less maintenance cost that comes with not spending a lot of money and it's true. I don't have to add new rims to my car and I don't have to keep up with the latest fashion trends to look presentable for others. Once we don't have to focus on money and can work on projects that we want to work on, that's when we feel the most free. And the best way to look poor is to SMASH that like and subscribe button to show your support for looking poor. Showing support for the kind of content that you value is a great way to represent who you are. There's a call down below in the description description for anyone who wants to book a call with me on how I can create a personalized budget to help them save even more money and build wealth. Or if they want to talk to me with anything related to money, personal finance, building wealth, career, I'll be available for them as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.